How is it possible to make such a smooth background color changing effect on a website with Bricks Builder? Well, it's not a problem. If you got five minutes, I show you how. If you look around in YouTube and Google, you realize you normally need code for the solution. It's JavaScript, it's GSIP timeline code, whatever. With the solution I show you, you don't need code. What you will learn in the next minutes is to blend these sections from red to orange to yellow and this you can adapt to your needs. And the things you need are just WordPress, of course Bricks Builder and the awesome Bricks Forge plugin, which can do many great things. But the thing I love the most and which we'll use here are animations, GSub animations, but without code, instead with a nice GUI. And yes, sorry, it's not free, but I don't care. It makes things possible that I've dreamed of. And this is also not paid by anyone. I waste my spare time to show others what I learned. And now it's showtime. Okay, this is our setup. We have three sections, section red, section orange, section yellow, all with a height of 100 VH. And yes, it's a bit confusion because section orange is red and section yellow has a background of orange. Why is that? That is the main principle of this solution because the following section always has the color of the previous section at first and then they blend simultaneously into the following color. So it's really smooth. So we make the orange section red now, as you can see, red and this then is yellow. Or oh, this is orange at first, <laughs> sorry. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this is a short step because I have already done it to make it quicker, but it's really important. We need to name our sections. Let's do this for instance with section or sec dash red, section or sec dash orange, and the last one is sec dash yellow. Why do we want to do this? Because we want these IDs to trigger or to use as triggers for our animation. We need classes and in a minute you will know why. This red section will turn to orange. So we give it a class of change to orange, which I have prepared. The orange section, which is not orange yet, but red will also, of course, turn to orange. So we give it this class. The orange section, which is then really orange, will turn also to yellow later, as I told you. So we give it also a class of change to yellow. You will understand it when you see how it animates. And the yellow section will also turn to yellow. So now it is orange. So change to yellow as well. So this section has one class. This section has two classes. And this section has one class. This turns to orange. This turns to orange and to yellow. This turns to yellow. All right. Now we set up the animation. At first, go to the backend or make sure that you have um, turned on in the BricksForge settings the animation controls and the BricksForge panel under extensions. Then we open the panel with a click or with Control P. That's easier. And then also important, go to settings and activate this button. Save also Bricks Builder when saving. So when you save here, it's also saved there. That's easier. Then open timelines. They control the animation, the GSEP animation. First, you create one and you give it a name. This is always good for orientation. Red to orange. Then you leave the trigger as scroll trigger because we want to start the animation when someone scrolls. Our trigger selector is the ID of the second section because this should trigger the animation when it comes into view. So remember our um, ID, that is sec dash orange. Don't forget the dash. And now we do also something important. Let's show the markers that happens in the front end, you will see. And this tells us or gives us an indication when the animation starts and when it ends. And this now we define here. So it should start when the top of the second section arrives at 60% of the screen. So in the front end, let's look. 
imagine there is a <laughs> there is a this is the start of the second section yeah and now it comes into view oh let's do this let's do this here so now the orange section reaches kind of 60 percent of the screen that's counted from the top of the screen and the animation starts and now it blends and it's finally blended when the top of the second section reaches 40 percent so let's set this um or let's input this the top uh, with 60% and it ends when the top reaches 40%. I hope you can follow me. So again, 60, it starts, 40, it's blended. And let me mention this explicitly. If you use percentages instead of top, bottom or center, then you need to have these quotation marks. Oh, sorry. Otherwise, GSEP will not work or the animations will not work. Now let's define what happens on the so-called timeline. So we create an animation, we open it. No, we open it, we don't create two. <laughs> and um, we could give it a name if we have several animations here, but we just have one. And then important thing is to choose the selector to animate triggered by this selector. So this one has Bricksforge given us automatically but we don't want it we want remember the change to orange class and important it's a class to orange leave everything as is here this option ignore them and go down to background color we want that the section both the section that has this class change the background color and now we want to input this orange here this orange just copy the value, go down again to background color and input it. Now this is the orange. Okay, now leave everything as it is and hit save. Now the magic happens. And at first you can check out the animation in the builder. When you move this dot, you see that it is blended into orange. Also the second section so remember, this is <laughs> where the two sections are divided and it works as well. So this is nice. You can also use this and see it automatically work. And this is also the great advantage to motion page because it's all working within the Bricks editor. And by the way, if you happen to experience a bug with Bricksforge, which can sometimes happen when you have, uh, for instance, a lot of animations going on, then what helps, what I experience is uh, you go out of the Bricks editor and restart it, or you can even log out of WordPress and then come back into it. And this should really help it. But now let's have a look at the front end. We have saved and we check it out. And the first thing you should notice are the scroll indicators that we switched on. And if we now scroll, you can see that this is the top of the second section and this should be 60% and this should be 40%. And now when we hit the scroll start, the sections blend, the magic happens and both sections turn to orange. Isn't that nice? And um, yeah, it would be also nice if now when we reverse this, that both sections turn again to red. And this is possible. I show you how. So you go back to the animation panel. And there you have the toggle actions. With this, you can control how the animation behaves. You can read through this information text, but the best is to try this out. And what we need here is to play the animation when um, we come into the trigger zone and reverse the animation we have to write this correct when we re-enter the zone so we can write play none reverse none and let's check what this does we scroll the magic happens and when we now scroll back the magic re-happens it's so nice i love it cool isn't it now let's connect the animation directly to the mouse crawl and i show you what i mean because until now it is like i enter the zone and it's fully blended or i go back 
and it's already fully rebladed before we reach the end of this zone. But there's a simple trick or simple option. You just go back to the panel and turn on scrub and save. And now it's totally connected to the mouse scroll. When I now enter, you can see that I can reverse it. Sorry, I have to reload it again. And now when I scroll up, you can see that it's directly connected because I can reverse it and it's also not fully blended when I enter the zone. And also when I re-enter the zone, you see um, it's really connected to the blending. That's nice. Now let's prepare the animation of the third section. This is really easy. We copy it and we call it orange to yellow. And then we remember that the section that triggers it is called sec yellow. We leave everything as is. We also use the markers, um, but I don't think we need them anymore. We can also turn them off. And then we go into the animation and then we have to type this class that we added to both, if you remember. And the last thing we should do is now give it the right background color. So let's go to the third section and just change it for a while to this yellow. Just copy it, change it back to this orange. We just wanted to steal the hex code and then input it here, yellow. And now we should be able to see, sorry, section yellow, yeah. What happens? Ah, the magic. So save it, go to the front end, and now the red section and the orange section should both blend what they do. And now the orange section and the yellow section should blend and they do it. I love it. And reverse also works. Done. I hope you start using this effect on your website and love it as much as I do. And if you liked my video, then give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel or check out one of the other videos. Cheers.